Hi guys and welcome to today's video which is going to be my desk area tour. I have wanted to do a video like this for a while. I do posts like this on my blog and I will link the most recent one that I did in the description box. I think I did that about a year ago. It's just that I've only started really liking getting comfortable with how my desk is kind of laid out. It was in a different room in the house before but I've moved it to the living room just because there's natural light in here and the room that it was in didn't have any and so it was kind of dim and dingy. I wasn't very productive when I was editing. I'd never go in there because there wasn't any light. I'm happy with where it is now. There are a couple of like massive paint marks on the wall which kind of I don't like but I'm just going to have to deal with those at the moment. We're currently doing up the apartment. Enough about that, let's get into the video. We'll start with the biggest item first which is my iMac. I got this in about October or November as an early Christmas present um, to help me edit. I was using my laptop but it got a bit frustrating because it's quite old and it just kept on dying. It's sitting on a stack of Your Home and Garden magazines at the moment. Hopefully I will be getting a laptop monitor soon but that's just to help with the height of the iMac and just so it makes the desk a bit more comfortable so my back's not hurting. And with my iMac I just use the wireless keyboard and the mouse that came with. The mouse is sitting on a couple of notebooks that I use to write blog and blog ideas and that is on top of the mouse pad at the moment. Behind my computer I have a little letter stand that I got from Kmart and that's got a couple of more notebooks in it and in front of that I have some boxes that I made. One has post-it notes in it and the other has pins, bulldog clips, a couple of SD cards and some lemsip in it just in case I get sick. Next to those I have a tin that I put washi tape around and that just has pen, scissors, an exacto knife in there for writing and crafting and stuff. And next to that I have the Things That Are Awesome jar which has um, little notes and bits of paper that I've written on with the date and something awesome that's happened so I can look at that when I'm having a bad day or in a year or whatever and just remember the awesome times and next to that I have a sadness and an anger figurine from Inside Out which is sitting next to my anatomical skeleton which I really like. I got it from a store called Ico Ico a couple of years ago I think. Next to that are some drawers I got from Kmart so the top one has highlighters, whiteboard pens and permanent markers. Probably not a good idea to have those all together. The second one just has random things so gum, more post-it notes, throat lollies, a couple of badges and some strepsils kind of numbing throat spray for when I'm sick. In the third drawer down I have colouring in pencils, I think there's a pencil sharpener in there and an eraser for when I'm using my colouring in books and on top of the little shelf drawers thing I have a deer figurine and my pink Instax mini that I got last year I think. Behind the desk I have a clipboard that we stuck dry erase slash whiteboard self-adhesive stickers to and currently clipped to it I just have things that I need to remember or important things and some Polaroid photos that I really liked. Next to the clipboard is a little poster I printed out and it says keep calm and drink tea because tea is awesome and I really love the keep calm things. So next to that I have my vision board slash bulletin board and it's just got things that make me happy or make me laugh and so I've got photos, cards from friends, quotes, um, some crochet flowers that I've been given, a couple of um, batches that I got from some bloggers events, a $5 Canadian note, the human skeleton poster that came with the little anatomical skeleton that I have sitting on my desk and I have my adventure sigil which is to remind myself to live this year full of adventure and I'll link the blog post that explains that below as well as lore DIYs video that I got the idea from and next to that I just have a string with photos and stacks photos and polaroids of things that I loved and that I want to remember. Below the string of photos I have a shelf and on the top of the shelf I've got a little cactus, a dinosaur, some makeup brushes, lipsticks, jewelry that I really like and some little samples of skincare and makeup products. 
in the shelf I have makeup skincare let me know if you'd like to see a makeup collection I'm really interested in doing one it will be pretty small but yeah let me know what you guys think about the idea and I also have my blackout beauty some crafting things and then next to the shelf I have some containers with um, stationery some more electronics notebooks honestly I have more notebooks than I will ever need let me know if you'd like to see a collection on that because there will be lots um, so yeah that's my desk I'm really loving having my desk in the living room because I get more sun and so I'm a lot more productive than I would usually be just kind of hunched over my laptop in bed meaning to eat it but not actually doing it so that was my desk area I hope that you liked this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already but would like to please subscribe it would mean a lot and I will see you in the next video bye